I will, uh, I will describe it now, and then um, we'll try to explore why it's true. So there's a characterization of continuity in terms of open sets. So here's a theorem. Very, very surprising. I claim that f from x to y is continuous if and only if for all open sets u in y, f inverse of u is open in x. What? Really? What does this have to do with continuity? What am I saying? What I'm saying is the following. Check this out. Here's a set x. Here's a function. Here's a set y. If I map this set into this one, I claim this function is going to be continuous if, for any open set u I pick here, well, it has an inverse image, which might be over here. That is the set of all points that get mapped into u. The claim is, if this is open, for every open set here, its inverse image will also be open. That's the claim, if f is continuous. And if this is true for every open set, that means f is continuous. Now, does that look completely different or what? First thing I have to do is convince you that it's perhaps true. Okay? So let's take another example, maybe. Let's take, a, uh, let's take a couple of pictures that you said were continuous here. You can refer to your old pictures. I'm just going to redraw them. But you, you already have these pictures in your home. Thank you. Here's one. There's a function that appears to you to be continuous. Real value, real numbers, real numbers. Here's one which was not so obvious was continuous. This one was obviously not continuous. Yeah? Good. We're saying the function is continuous if, oh, by the way, what do I mean continuous? I mean continuous everywhere, because I haven't specified the point. I didn't mention that. If, if you want to talk about continuity of a, a function at a point, it's this definition. <coughs> If you want to talk about continuity without reference to a point, it means it better be true for all points. OK. Well, let's see. Is that true here? If I take an open set here, is it true that its inverse image is open? Let's just see. Um, let's take this set. There. That's u. What's the inverse image of u here? I claim it's everything that, that falls in this ribbon, yeah? That produces two intervals here, I think. Produces this interval and this interval. And isn't this indeed an open set? Oh, OK. What about this? Suppose I take this open set. What's its inverse image? Hmm. What is it? It's half open. Not open. This inverse image is not open. And that happened. Why? It happened because this thing was not continuous, I claim. Although it's still mysterious why this is a criterion, isn't it? Perhaps. Richard's thinking, yeah, it's mysterious. Oh, well, let's just check that it works in this case here. Give me an open set here. What's its inverse image? That one point. Is this point open in the two-point set? Discrete metric? Yes. So, works. OK. Hmm, still some mystery, perhaps. Still some mystery. Huh. OK. Um, I think we're going to prove this at the beginning of next time. That's probably a good thing to do. Um, but let me just sort of 
uh, say, wax eloquent about this, this particular theorem. This is perhaps the most useful or best definition of continuity. Okay? And I say that for a number of reasons. One is, if you're a topologist, um, you don't like referring to metrics necessarily. This is actually a definition of continuity that will hold for general topological spaces. You don't have to refer to distances or metrics. Okay. The other thing is, um, it's perhaps, um, well, that's probably the best reason why it's a good definition. Uh, it, it, it's the most elegant in some sense, right? It just refers to the topology of the real line. Like what, what points are, you're only referring to what, what you think, what, what you're considering open sets. Um, it's also a question, by the way, that appears almost in some version on the math GREs if you're going to grad school. There's usually some question that tests this, this, uh, this definition, uh, understanding of this definition. So uh, what I encourage you to do is to think a little bit about how you would prove this from the epsilon delta definition, why they're equivalent. We're going to do it next time, but it's a nice thing for you to try to do that uh, before we tackle it in, in public. Yes, question. Oh, excellent. That's coming next time, too. Yes. It turns out that you can replace open by closed here, and that's also going to be a definition of continuity. Inverse image of closed sets are closed. Why is that? Complementation. Yes. So we'll, we'll see that as well. There are a number of equivalent definitions of continuity. OK, great. Have a great day. And on Monday, we will, we will see you. Oh, have a great midterm, too. Yes. Yes. It's, uh, it's a good midterm.